Today, the Trudeau government introduced legislation in an attempt to secure a long-term role for Ottawa in daycare and future-proof its national child care system. As Jason Gaidola reports, the local MP who is proposing the bill says so far, commitments are on track. The Trudeau government is looking to make affordable child care a long-term priority, and since a national plan was tabled, care centers who have opted in say demand has surged. Last time you spoke to me, we had about 200 kids in our wait list. Since we've opted into CW ELCC, we've seen that grow to 600. Executive Director of the East Plains United Church Child Care Centre, Claudia Gardeman, says the centre expects its federal funding to arrive by year end. And families are already seeing more money in their pockets. What will happen is parents will receive 25% of all fees that they paid from April 1st to August 31st, and then an additional uh, rebate for August, or September 1st until December 31st. The Liberal government's national child care plan is requiring that daycare fees be cut by an average of 50% by the end of the year, right down to an average of $10 a day by 2026. Gardeman adds by the new year, its original daily fee of $80 will be down to 40. Families Minister and Burlington MP Karina Gould says the 13 provinces who signed on for its $10 a day childcare deal are on track. But today in Ottawa, Gould took further action by proposing new legislation to ensure the child program becomes law beyond 2026. And it makes it harder for any future government to cancel or cut childcare. The proposed bill does not include funding promises. They also say the bill intends to respect jurisdictions and Indigenous rights and does not impose conditions on other levels of government. Of course, you know, if they decided to walk away, they would be leaving a lot of federal money on the table. But more importantly, they'd be leaving a lot of families in the lurch. Adrian Davidson with McMaster's Department of Political Science believes Ottawa's role in child care is necessary and says it needs to safeguard it as quickly as possible. Parents are not going to be able to fathom a world in which they're back to paying sort of $1,200, $1,500, $2,000 per month per kid. The Liberals had promised to introduce the legislation by the end of this year as part of their confidence and supply agreement with the NDP. That means the bill is all but certain to pass.